What's up guys, Devin here from American Aquarium Products bringing you another informational video. Thank you for all your support. Remember to hit that subscribe button and here we go. Recently we've been asked to address some information about the effects of ORP with the use of a titanium lined sterilizer. Does it increase ORP or does it maintain decrease it like a polycarbonate sterilizer. Usually when we promote UVC for disease protection, it's not just for clarification. We state with the added benefit of zapping algae, bacteria, virus, and parasites, the UVC zaps and converts oxygenization, aiding in maintaining and even lowering ORP within a certain range, lowering oxidative stress. These oxidizers that are eliminating the electrical charge needed for osmoregulation. ORP is basically the millivolt reading of water like a car battery. Now there's this idea of increasing electrical charge or ORP past the normal or healthy range to a degree for disease protection, which is how ozone's been used in aquarium care. Certain medications or conditioners will increase the ORP for known disease treatment, but we do have a range of ORP we believe to be best for health already in aquariums and ponds. Also let me say please guys this information from American Aquarium Products and the use of UV sterilization and redox is copyrighted. The use of this information needs permission and the source needs to be cited. So what we did is we set up some testing. Everything affects ORP, redox, millivolt reading of water such as O2, temperature, lighting, water changes, and all consistently affecting water making ORP more of a in motion type of reading, where in many aquariums there's a lot of trending up without enough trending down to create a maintained balance in an ORP range. It's technically a difficult measurement to get accurate, but the concept and trends are not hard to understand. The tests we put in place were simple ones that we've done in the past. We took a TMC Vecton, and a TMC Titan UV sterilizer and applied an oxidizer and measured the color and millivolt effect. We also had plain water as a control and an oxidizer as a control. Our bias is that when there's oxidizers applied and an increase to the millivolt in the water, the UV will reduce the oxidizers to a maintained state. At this point, the UV will help maintain the millivolt reading. The water control should maintain a millivolt reading over a testing period and the oxidizer control should hold a high millivolt reading over a testing period, then decrease. We use this standard because unlike pure water or tap aquariums and ponds, there's more and increasing amounts of oxidizers due to the nitrogen cycle, oxygen, mineralization, lighting, temperature, etc. And aquariums or ponds are a closed system, unlike open systems, rivers, oceans, streams, where the millivolt reading is maintained. In closed systems, the millivolt reading tends to go higher. The level of sterilization we use is what we have coined high level one sterilization, which means that there is a certain number of passes of all the water going through the sterilizer in an hour for the wattage and total volume of the application. At this amount, the sterilizer controls algae, bacteria, and virus. We did not use or have the need for high level two sterilization, which is for stubborn illness and parasite control. We use 25 gallons of total water volume with the 15 watt sterilizer at a flow of about 100 gallons per hour, uh, 8 watt water pump, 5 gallon control buckets. The water used was left out to gas or settled before measured. We made sure there was no extra crashing of the water when filling or the flow of the sterilizer as we didn't want oxygen levels to be affected. Use potassium permanganate clear water by Jungle as an oxidizer to the instructions on the back of the bottle one teaspoon per 10 gallons and while it oxidizes higher than the recommended normal tank levels say fresh water 125 to 150 and salt water 300 to maybe 350 we could see how the uv managed the strong oxidizer in this test if the millivolt reading ever got higher than 450 i state 450 plus and anything below 100 is 100 minus. And again, these are general numbers as there's different reasons to maintain different values of the millivolt reading. We started with a handful of common $30 ORP meters and then quickly realized how inaccurate they were or damaged. Then we switched to Milwaukee Instruments ORP meter for a higher grade test, calibrated at 256 millivolts from the manufacturer. New water was used for each test and the meters were cleaned and stored properly. There was no supplemented lighting, 
nitrogen cycle or bio load and here's the results of the test okay in this first graph we can see just what the water control was this was a five gallon bucket with just plain water sitting over 24 hours and temperature is included in all these tests because of how sensitive ORP is to temperature but we can see with water just sitting by itself it actually tends to oxidize a little bit going from a little over 100 to close to 140 oxidization over 24 hours now we have the controlled oxidizer test potassium permanganate test and over a 24 hour period the oxidizer by itself actually can tend to fall a little bit so from a strong 450 down to close to 250 by itself and again that was similar from test one to test two and now for the test of the polycarbonate vecton with no oxidizer just testing for water itself and actually we go from on this first test from around 100 and the polycarbonate sterilizer with no oxidizers applied can actually oxidize the water. So we go from 100 to 140. And again, that's similar to on test two from around 100 to 180. And now for the titanium lined Titan Vecton UV sterilizer, when just water is applied and using the sterilizer, there's actually a slight reduction from about 180 down to 160. And on the test two, there was even more dramatic, which would require a secondary testing. And that's from 160 down to 80. So there's a reduction. That's with no oxidizers applied. Now this next set is where we, what our, most of our testing has been leading up to, which is testing the UV sterilizers with an oxidizer present. So with the Vecton polycarbonate sterilizer with an oxidizer applied, here we go. This is what we want to see and what we've always known as there's a 400 down to 450 high 450 down to 150 so that's even less than if with just water was applied in test two there was another major dramatic drop of reducing the oxidizers and then for the titanium sterilizer we also see a reduction and this is what we are expecting in our aquariums guys a higher millivolt reading the oxidizer is managed by the sterilizer, eliminating it. There is not as many oxidizers, so we have a drop. So we go from a high 450 down to about 50, and 450 down to 100 in the second test. A larger drop than the Vecton. So we are getting reduction from our sterilizers when there's oxidizers applied. So as we can see the titanium sterilizer and the polycarbonate sterilizer and similar and how they reduce an oxidizer when present and maintain a millivolt reading at a given point. With this, we should have a good understanding of how UV affects the water with our current tech on the market. But first, let me say this titanium lined UV sterilization technology is already in use in industrial applications for cleaning chemicals and waterways for manufacturers. In the industrial world, this tech is now known as UV AOP, Advanced Oxidizing Process, when reduction and oxidization can take place. Corporations like NASA use this UV AOP because it is a friendly oxidizer. The science of how the titanium technology eradicates disease or bacteria is very neat and how it can sterilize to a higher degree. And this is and this is likely because of the oxidization and the reduction that is happening at the same time. All right, guys, that's it. Thank you so much for viewing this video. And like always, there's written resources in the description below. You guys are awesome. And if you stuck into the end, you guys are the real superstars. Hopefully we were able to take this a little bit more scientific topic and make it easy to understand and apply. We found maintaining a balanced millivolt reading long term in these applications using certain techniques really do improve quality of life. Millivolt readings affect how osmoregulation of an organism works and how we can help create a healthy environment for our aquatic life. If you guys would like any of these items in the video such as the TMC Titan or the Milwaukee ORP meter, please purchase from American Aquarium Products. We appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for your support. We'll talk at you next time. Bye.